Hello and welcome to T3. One of the many ways Make It Work can help you achieve a stress-free digital lifestyle. I'm Jeremy Atticone, and here's what's trending. Hot on the heels of the iPad release, the HP Slate price and specs have been leaked on the web. The base model appears to be running at $549 and will be running Windows 7 Home Premium and not a customized version of the operating system. It's got a built-in 32GB storage disk with 1GB of RAM and a 1.6GHz Intel Atom processor. It has an 8.9-inch screen, which compares to the 9.7-inch screen on the iPad. It has two cameras, one on the front for video conferencing, a SD card slot, USB port, and HDMI out. Although the battery life is significantly less than the iPad, only 5 hours compared to the iPad's 10, and there's no official launch date, but still rumored for June. Two days after the release, the Apple iPad has been jailbroken. Now, jailbreaking gives you full access to the system, and it allows you to download and run software that is not authorized by Apple. One of the most popular things that people do after jailbreaking is customize the graphical interface. You can change the icons and backgrounds and have a whole lot more control than Apple gives you out of the box. One of the downsides is that it also allows users to install pirated apps. It was jailbroken by an independent iPhone developer on the day after the release. It's not yet available to the public, and I would expect Apple to continue releasing their updates to combat jailbreaking. It's a constant arms race between developers and Apple as these updates are constantly released and they keep breaking each other. Not satisfied with just the iPad launch, Apple is also announcing this week version 4 of the iPhone operating system. The event will take place this Thursday in Cupertino, and Apple sent out the invitations on Monday. This is a preview of the operating system, not an actual release date. Some rumors are already circulating, including multitasking, the ability to run more than one application at a time, an updated user interface, some rumors about Adobe Flash, but probably not likely. So check back on Thursday where we'll be covering all the details. Thanks for tuning in for T3. For tech trends and more, visit makeitwork.com. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and that's what's trending.